Hi, I'm Jeff, and one of the benefits of using PlanningPod is that you can create templates for a variety of things like to-do lists, questionnaires, budgets, and itineraries that you can create once and then import those into future events. So we're going to take a quick look at how to use the templates tools in our application. By creating templates of to-do lists, itineraries, budgets, and much more, you can use those items over and over again. We're going to click on the templates tab, and that takes us to a page where we can create templates for contracts, proposals, budgets, checklists, event details, itineraries, questionnaires, and to-dos. First, we're going to create a contract template by clicking on that button there, and then typing in a name of this legal contract template. And once I've done this, I am going to cut and paste my legal language from another document into this text box below. And you can use the formatting tools above this text box to format the text that we just cut and pasted. And I'm just going to bullet a few items right here as an example. And when we're finished, we'll just save this template. And now you can see here that new contract template is right there. And you can always edit or delete this template. And now we're going to import this into a new contract. So we're going to go to the Contracts tab. And we're going to go to the pull down menu in the top right hand corner and click on import contract templates. We're going to click in the box here and select the template we just created and hit save. And now here is that contract that we just imported and we're going to edit it to change the name of this contract. And once you have imported it, you can edit any item. You can edit the name, you can place it in a contract group, you can select intended signers, and you can also edit the text that we just imported. And we'll just do this as an example right here. And after we hit the save button, we will now see here is that edited contract that we just imported from a template. Now let's return to the templates area to create a proposal template. We're going to click on the proposal templates link here and then click on the add proposal template button. Here we can first uh, create a name for the proposal template and below that we'll enter in a quick note or message that will be attached to that proposal template. Here is where you can enter introductory text for the proposal. And here is where you can start adding line items to this proposal. We're just going to add one right now for the time being. So we're going to enter in an item name. And then below that, we can enter in a description of this line item, as well as quantity or hours, a unit cost, and if you would like also a sales tax rate and a markup or discount and our system will keep track of a subtotal and you can always add more line items just by clicking on this button here if you're finished with this you can click the save and done button however if you want to add assets like a document or a pdf file you can click this button right here this will pull up our uploader tool where we can click on this button to add some files. So we're going to select a couple documents and a PDF file that we're going to attach to this particular proposal template. We're going to start our upload. And then the right hand side, you can see the upload progress. This may take a few moments depending upon the size of your files. But once the upload hits 100%, in the bottom right hand corner we can then click on the red button right here and now you can see that our template has been added here you can edit view or delete it but now we're going to go to the 
proposals and invoices area and actually create a new proposal from this template. So we're going to go to the drop down menu right here and click on the import proposal template. We're going to click in the blank box, select the template and then click on save. And after we hit save, we can now click on the proposal we just created. And here's the proposal details area with the files that we attached to the proposal. Now let's make a few edits to this. First, we're going to select a uh, client for this particular proposal and we'll choose an address. And here you can also edit the proposal name. And again, you can, once you've uh, imported a proposal template, you can change any and or all of the items in the proposal itself, as well as changing the line items and adding new line items. And when we're finished, we'll just hit the save and done button. And here now is our edited proposal. So now let's take a look at how to create and edit a budget template. We're going to go back to the templates area and then click on the budget templates tab. And we're going to go up to the add budget template button. Here we can add a quick title and then you can start adding budget items um, by adding first the title and then you can add the percentage of how much that particular item would take up in your total budget. So for this particular item we're going to say that it would take up 7% of the total budget for a particular event. We're going to add in one more item and we are not going to add a percentage for this particular item. We'll just leave that blank. And then we're going to hit the save button. And now you can see that new budget template is right here. And again, you can edit or delete it right here. Now let's go to one of our events and we are going to import this budget template into one of our event budgets. So we're going to click on one of our events here and then click on the budget tool. And then once we're inside the budget, we're going to go to the drop down menu right here and we're going to select import budget template. We're going to select the template we just created and hit save. And now here are those two items that we created in our template that have been imported into this budget. And we can edit them just by clicking on the pencil icon. And as with all the other templated items in the other sections, we can make as many changes to this now as we wish after it has been imported into this particular event budget. So we're going to select a fixed amount for the negotiated amount here as well as the actual amount. And then I'm just going to save it. And here's that item that we just made edits to. Now let's take a look at how to create a checklist template. We'll go to the templates tab, we'll click on the checklist templates right here, and then we'll go up to the right hand corner and click on the add checklist template button. We will add a title to this checklist and then we can add our first item in this field right here. And to add additional items, we just click on this button. And I am just going to add a few more items in this checklist. And once I'm done, I'll just hit the save button. And here's that new checklist template right here. And you can always edit or delete it. But now we're going to go and import this checklist into an event. So we're going to choose our event here, go to the checklist tool here inside the event, and then go to the drop down menu and select import templates. We're going to click in this field, select the template that we just created and hit save. And here that new checklist is from a template. And once it's imported, we can always go and edit this information.
as well as we can delete items too. And then once we're done, we'll hit save. And here now is our edited checklist. Now let's look at creating a template for an event detail. We'll go to the templates area again, click on the event detail templates tab. And as you can see, we've already provided you with quite a few event detail templates, but we're going to create a new one. So we'll give this particular template a name. And then in the text box, we are going to add uh, information that will become part of the template that we can import into an event. So I'm just going to add a few items here. And once I'm done, I'll just hit the save button. And again, you can use the tools at the top of the text box there to format your template. And here's our new event detail template there with the ability to edit or delete it. Now let's go import this event detail into an event. So we're going to go back to the events tab, select our event, and then click on the event details tool inside the event. And then we're going to go up to the add event details button. We're going to give a new event detail a name and you have the option to associate any vendors with this event detail. We'll do one right here. And then in this drop down menu, you can select the template that we just created. And it will pull that text or data in there. And then you can always, again, add to this, edit or delete this information. So we're just going, we're going to add a few details here. And then once we're done here, we will click on the save button. And now you can see right here is our new event detail that we created from a template. Now let's create a new itinerary template. We are going to click on the itinerary templates tab here. And then we'll click on the add itinerary template button. And then we'll add a title as well as the first itinerary item. And then to add more, we'll just click on that button right there. And we'll add a few more items here. And when you're finished, click the save button. And here is our new itinerary template right here. Again, you can edit or delete this. And now we're going to import this itinerary template into an event. So we're going to go to our event. We're going to find the itinerary tool. We're going to enter that. Then we'll go up to the drop down menu and then click on import itinerary template. Then we'll select the template from the drop down menu here and then click on save. And now you can see those items have been imported into the itinerary for this event. And then we're going to click on all three items so that we can change the date for the day that that event is going to occur. And now we can also individually edit each item and change the start time for this particular item, as well as any of the other details um, or fields that are here. And when we're done, we'll hit save. And there's our newly edited itinerary item right there. Now let's create a questionnaire template. So we'll go back to the templates area, click on the questionnaire templates tab, and then click on the button in the top right hand corner here. And we're going to give this questionnaire a title first. And then we'll add our first question. And to add additional questions, we'll just click on the button, the add question button right here. And we'll add a few more questions. And in the questionnaire template, as well as in the 
the budget or checklist or itinerary templates, you can add an unlimited number of items to those templates, as well as the to-do template. And when we're finished, we'll just click on the Save button. Here's our new questionnaire template with the ability to edit or delete it. Now let's import this questionnaire into an event. So we'll go back to the Events tab, find our event, and then we will click on the Questionnaires tool right here. And then we'll go up to the drop-down menu and select Import Templates. Then we'll click in the blank field here, select our template, click Save. And now here is our new questionnaire here created from our template. And again, you can always go back and edit and delete items from the template from the template and make changes to questions or delete them and once we're finished we'll just hit the save button and here's that new questionnaire with the edits we just made finally let's look at how to make a to-do list template We'll go to the to-do templates tab here and then we'll click on the add to-do template button in the top right hand corner and we'll start off again by adding um, a name to this template and below that is the field for creating the first to-do and note that there's a drop down menu to the right of this to-do this allows you to insert this particular do inside of an event before, after, or on the date of the event itself. So we're going to say that this particular to-do should be inserted into the event 150 days before the event date. For the second to-do in this list, we will set it so that when it's imported into the event, it will appear 145 days before the event date and in this final to do we will set it so that it will be imported into the event at 140 days before the event date and once we're finished we'll hit the save button and here is our new event to do list template with the ability to edit or delete it and now we're going to import this to-do list into an event. So let's go back to our events tab, select our event, and then go down to the to-do tool, which we will click on right here. Then we'll go up to the drop-down menu and then select import templates. Then you will click in the field here, pick the template we just created and hit save. And now, here are those three to-dos that have been placed inside the event and they have been placed inside the event according to the event date. So if you recall, they were placed 150, 145, and 140 days before the event date. But you can always go back and make additional edits to these to-dos. As well as change the assign contacts and the due date. Well, that's a fairly comprehensive overview of how to create templates and import them into the event tools. But if you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact us.